Just off the Sawmill River Parkway in the town of Newcastle is the former Reader's Digest campus of 116 acres. The Business Journal was invited to tour the site of the former publishing behemoth founded by DeWitt and Lila Wallace, now under redevelopment. The spokesman for Chappaqua Crossing, as the project is called, is Jeff Thompson of Thompson & Bender. In the historic 1939 original portion of the Reader's Digest complex, uh, they are building apartments, rental apartments, that include affordable workforce uh, housing and market rate housing. So there are three different types of housing being built there. And it's being done by Wilder Balter Properties, who are very prominent builders of uh, affordable housing as well as luxury housing. And they've taken a special interest in this building, which is a, a true classic and they are doing everything they can to preserve as many of the architectural features and elements as possible. Some apartments are gonna have great round windows in them, Palladian windows. Um, some of the units that are affordable count towards the county's housing settlement with the federal government. And there's a website for this housing, chappaqua-crossing-apartments.com. And that will provide a lot of the information anyone would need about the, the lotteries for the affordable units and the workforce units, as well as information about the market rate units. So the first new residents will be moving into this building uh, in December of this year and January of next year. And uh, it's, that's basically less than a year and a half after construction started. So that's an ambitious schedule and it's being met. Uh, it's a great opportunity. But it's not the only thing that's going on on the Chappaqua Crossing property. Um, construction has started uh, just very recently on a 120,000 square foot retail village that will include a Whole Foods market, a lifetime fitness, uh, fitness center, as well as uh, ancillary stores, banks, and other restaurants that people will be able to access. It's beautifully designed, not a typical, certainly not a strip shopping center, not a typical shopping center by any stretch. This is really well done, architecturally designed, and it's going to be a tremendous asset, and I think it'll be very successful. There also is still 450,000 square feet of office space on the property. Roughly half of that is now occupied, and there's been a surge in interest in the remaining portion of it, because par partly because there's so much opportunity here on the property to have other features uh, being developed here. So. Uh, there's a lot going on on the Chappaqua Crossing property that uh, has been waiting for 12 and a half years since the Digest uh, sold it. Also, in the future, there will be um, another 91 market rate condominiums uh, in townhouses that will be built in what's called the East Village. That's probably about a year out still because there's some final approvals needed for that. So what do you think makes this property uh, unique among the developments in Westchester? It's a campus like no other. It's probably the original uh, corporate campus in Westchester and maybe one of the first in the country that truly was one business that developed it, it, this big piece of property. It's beautifully landscaped. About half the property will remain as open space. Uh, it's got all sorts of features to it. It's very close to the train station, to the Chappaqua station. It's, so it's tr essentially transit oriented. It's very convenient to the Sawmill Parkway. It's got great schools for people that are living here. It's going to have great shopping for people that need a supermarket or other facilities that are offered. This is a kind of a complete uh, community within the community, which is unusual for an office park. It's not some of the newer office parks are going in that direction, but they, they don't have the raw material that you have here to work with. This is just a, a real true campus, and the campus atmosphere is going to be preserved in perpetuity.